All right, guys, today we are gonna try to make some sticky buns. I've actually never made sticky buns in my life because it just seems like such a mess, you know? But I have a solution. I'm working with Scotch Bright brand to make cleanup even easier this holiday season. Okay, so this dough has many different steps. I'm gonna start by melting some butter and milk with sugar. It's kind of like a semi-enriched dough. I didn't see any eggs in this recipe, but we'll give it a try and see how it turns out. It looks the easiest out of all the ones that I researched, so if you guys want the recipe, I will link to it in the description box below. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle some sugar, and we'll melt everything together and heat it up until it reaches 105 degrees. I like to cut the butter so that it melts a little faster. Ooh, it's already at 130. All right, I'm gonna let the rest of the residual heat melt the butter while it cools everything down. Let's just let it chill here. Okay, so for the next step, I'm supposed to bloom the yeast. Is that the right word for it? But I like this recipe because it uses instant yeast, so I don't have to wait as long for the dough to rise. It really only takes about an hour. A lot of the recipes out there calls for like six hours to overnight, and who has that time? Especially during the holidays, when I need things done, I need things done quick. Okay, so three and a half teaspoons. One, two, three and a half. All right. And then we're supposed to add some warm water that's also at about 105 to 110. It's a little warm, no problemo. Whenever I need to cool it, I just like give it a swirl. Swish. Add half a teaspoon of salt and let's check on our butter mixture. And just by pouring it into this Pyrex, I cooled it significantly. And now I'm supposed to go over to the mixer and just mix it with the flour until you get a nice, beautiful dough. Okay, so I'm supposed to add half of the flour in first. And then I have to sprinkle more in as it mixes. All right, our dough is done. It's smooth like a baby's butt. Still kind of tacky and sticky. It'll stick to your fingers a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we're supposed to grease another bowl, spread it around, put it in, and then flip it over so that the grease side goes up. Voila. Now I just lightly cover it. Now I just need to put it in a warm spot for about 30 minutes up to an hour until it's doubled in size. So I'm gonna put it over here. Next to our candle. So while that is rising, I guess I'll work on the sticky topping. I'm gonna start with some melted butter. Mix that with some sugars, brown and white. Don't splatter, white. Pinch of salt. And then the recipe calls for dark corn syrup. I don't have any, so I thought I would substitute with maple syrup and hopefully it works. I would prefer to use maple syrup anyways. I would have no other uses for the dark corn syrup. So this is the topping for our sticky bun. I do have a thought though. I think people use corn syrup so that it stays thick and I don't wanna lose that in using the maple syrup. So I wonder if I add in a little bit of flour and mix it together, it would create that like sticky structure. One teaspoon. I feel like this could work. Flour or cornstarch, yeah, the consistency is a lot thicker. Well, this is just my process of experimenting with like existing recipes. So that's that. I'm going to add it to my, just line the bottom. So if that works, and if you guys don't wanna use corn syrup either, my brown sugar is very rocky. So I have to break them up with my fingers here. Just spread this out. Okay, and an even layer. And then if you guys like pecans on your sticky bun, you can sprinkle pecans all over the bottom. This is like a supercharged cinnamon bun. Cinnamon roll. Do you guys say cinnamon bun or cinnamon roll? That's done. Let's check on our dough to see if it's risen. Oh my gosh, look how much the dough has risen, you guys. It's like an hour later, and instant yeast is pretty incredible. I'm gonna set this aside real quick before I 
roll it out because I'm gonna make the cinnamon sugar filling. So I have some butter, so I'm supposed to mix it. Sugar, more sugar. <laughs> Tis the season, pinch of salt, and some cinnamon, a whole tablespoon. Oops, it'll be nice and cinnamony. Mix it all together. You know, I think this would have worked better with melted butter. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna nuke the whole thing. I would start with melted butter here. There we go. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like the holidays for sure. So we'll let that hang out and then we're gonna roll out the dough. Bam, look at that. Whenever I roll out pie dough or like pizza dough, I always just like press it down like this first. That way it's a little bit easier and a little more even. Oh, this is so soft. So a dough like this, you guys, would work so well with any other type of like sweet filling. I feel like you can even make this with savory things, like cheese and ham rolls. That's more my style. Okay, let's spread this guy. Okay, so I'm almost done, so I'm gonna preheat the oven real quick. Bake it at 350 degrees. This looks pretty even. So I'm gonna roll it up long ways to make sure that the cinnamon's all the way out to the edge. Hey, so far so good. This is pretty easy. So now using a really sharp knife, just cut it. The edges are a little sad anyways. Okay, so ooh, I know it's like not perfectly circular because I cut it with a knife, but it'll puff up again. And just stick it in here, give it some space. I've never made sticky buns, but I've made cinnamon rolls, so this is the same concept. All right, so our Sticky buns are almost ready to go in the oven. They need to proof one more time for about 15 to 20 minutes. This looks incredible! Oh my gosh. Look at the bubbling sugar. It's still nice and hot. The top is golden brown. But we're not done yet. We're gonna invert the whole thing onto this baking pan to reveal the sticky buns. Ready? One, two. <laughs> okay, ready? One, let's give me three. Oh, I can't, I need to do it like this. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <sighs> the sugar's already spilling out. Like I said, sticky buns usually become a sticky mess, but hopefully it's worth it. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. They look insane. Our sticky buns are ready to serve. And we'll let the baby try a little bit. Look at the inside swirl. Oh, here we go. Sticky buns for the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a lot of dishes to clean up now, but like I said, I have a little bit of a helper. Enter the Scotch Bright Advanced Soap Control Non Scratch Dish Wand that'll take care of all of this stuck on mess. All right, this one I forgot to soak, so it's gonna be. So it's gonna be quite a doozy to clean, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wet it real quick and we're just gonna scrub it out. So the great thing about this tool is that I can control the amount of soap that comes out with this button. It gives precise soap control dispensing soap when and where it's needed. And as you can see, the stuck on mess is already coming off. The stuck on flour is already coming off. I guess it wasn't such a doozy after all. Not with this guy. Also, if you're wondering, does the soap leak? There's no leakage, it's leak-free, guaranteed. The only time that the soap will come out is when you press this button right here. Boop! So for my nicer dishes, especially with these gold rim ones, I always try to wash by hand, just to keep it looking nice. And another cool thing is, my hands stay nice and protected. The corners are always a little tricky, but just a little bit of scrubbing will take it right out. Here, woohoo! 
Look at that. No more stuck on mess. Well, that was all in the holidays work. I hope you guys enjoyed me trying this sticky bun recipe. If you guys try it too, be sure to let me know what you thought of it. And I hope my cleaning tip helps you this holiday season with the stress and protect your hands too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.